Lawmakers left Washington this week without extending FAA funding, leaving 4,000 jobs and several thousand more uh, in balance. Well, joining us now from the White House to talk about this congressional impasse is Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood. Secretary LaHood, thank you very much uh, for joining us on this. Now, I know that uh, you have said, as well as the president, that you would like to somehow be able to resolve this dispute or resolve this funding issue uh, by the end of this week. Any indications that you will be able to achieve that? Well, what I've been doing is uh, trying to persuade Congress to come back from their vacation and pass the bill. Uh, it's simply not fair to American workers that uh, 70 plus thousand are off work. We have our FAA employees, 4,000 of whom uh, have been furloughed uh, now for almost 10 days without pay. But more importantly, we're right in the middle of the construction season. Mm -hmm. We have construct, we had construction projects going on at airports all over the country. 70 plus thousand construction workers are are not on the job right in the middle of the construction season. Now, for all the politicians around Washington who love to talk about jobs, talk about creating jobs, the best way to do it, come back from your vacation, put these people to work by passing a bill. Okay. Well, then who in, okay, so who do you blame for this, though? Because you say Congress, but who do you blame directly for this impasse? Uh, the, way to, the, the way to break the impasse is for Congress. Congress can pass a bill. Right, the way but, that but they who, have but, passed but who, the bill who on 20. Who specifically do you think, Secretary LaHood, is in your way in being able to get this passed? Congress, the people that pass laws, the people that have passed an extension on 20 other occasions. People, Congress passed an extension of the FAA bill 20 other times without any controversial items. Pass the bill, work out your differences, whatever they are, whatever the differences are. Don't hold American workers hostage. Don't, don't hold unemployed workers hostage because you have a difference or two. Do what you've done on 20 other occasions. This is Congress's job. Come back, do your job, and then you can go on vacation. Right. Don't be on vacation when 70 plus thousand Americans, your friends and neighbors, are out of work. And Secretary LaHood, I'm going to ask this question again. And the reason why is because uh, it is Congress, I understand, but you need leadership within Congress in order to get this passed. So do you blame uh, Congressman John Micah, head of the House Transportation Committee, or do you blame Senator Harry Reid? Congress needs to come back from their vacation and pass the bill. That's the way it's been done on 20 different occasions. That's the way Congress works. That's the way these extensions get done. Congress needs to get it done. Have you been talking with any of those? Have you been talking with Congressman Micah? Have you been talking with Senator Reid? Have you been talking with them to try to get some leadership to get this deal done? I talked to Senator Reid on three or four occasions as late as seven o'clock last night. Senator Reid has been very, very helpful on this. He is trying to find a way to put 70 plus thousand workers back to work. Senator Reid is leading on this. We need to get other members of Congress back here in Washington, come back from your vacation, you're getting paid. How about paying your friends and neighbors? Uh, Congressman Micah, has he been receptive as well? Have you talked to him? I, I, I've talked to him, of course I have, but what I'm saying is Congress needs to do what they've done on 20 other occasions. Come together, pass a bill, and then you can work out your differences. This is not fair to American workers. This is not fair to people who need to make house payments, car payments, need to take care of their kids as they head back to school. This is not the way to treat American workers. Uh, Secretary LaHood, if, this, if you can't get Congress back from vacation to, to do anything about uh, extending the funding here, uh, is there any other, uh, are there any other budgets or, or funding that you could tap in order to bridge this gap until Congress reconvenes on September 7th? I'm spending all my time and energy trying to persuade Congress to do their job, to come back to work, to come back and pass a bill the way they've done on 20 other occasions. That, that's, that's where I'm spending my time. Come back to work, Congress. Help the unemployed. If you want to create jobs for all the good speeches you've all given about creating jobs, the way to do it, pass the bill and put 70 plus thousand people to work. Is there no executive action that could take place in order to supplant what Congress cannot do at this point? Uh, well, if, if, if that were the case, uh, I wouldn't be standing here talking about this. This needs action by a Congress that's on vacation. Come back. Come to Washington. Pass the bill as you've done on 20 other occasions so your friends and neighbors can go back to work. 
Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, I appreciate you. you joining me uh, you on this much. very important issue.